children, Tony and Grady. Uh, Grady's having a lot of uh, pain in his leg. He said it so much so that it wakes him up. And Latonya's having pain throughout her body. So pray for them. Yes. Over these words of prayer 
and manifest your greatness and your power. Yes. Father, we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. We want to, uh, if you go back over with us to uh, Romans chapter number 12, and we're going to finish up that Bible study. Emblematic 
a figure of love because you were created in the image and the likeness of God. And God, everything that God does is literally motivated by love. Even his judgment is motivated by love. His correction is motivated by love. God wants you and everything you do to be motivated by love. Amen? Uh, and if we were to go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, which we call the love chapter, it would tell you that if you give your body to be burned, uh, uh, and if you're not motivated by love, it, it profited you not. So Paul is saying here, let love be without dissimulation. And that word dissimulation means uh, uh, without sincerity. Everything you do, God wants you to do with sincerity. Love with sincerity. Don't, don't let your love <laughs> be pretend. You know, some fake love. <laughs> uh, don't, don't, don't be pretending. Uh, when, you, when you love somebody, love hard. You know, uh, be, be for real in, in, your, in your loving and, and, and how you show love. Don't be fake. Don't go through the motions. Amen? God, God, God hate, hates when people go through the motions. That's, that's another analogy to what, what the scripture calls uh, uh, an apostate mind. An apostate person is there only in body. Uh, not, not, not their mind and their spirit is not, is not there. It's just their body. Apostate. Apostate mind. God wants your love to be without dissimulation. Be, be with sincerity. Amen? Uh, uh, people ought to, ought to feel your love. When they walk into your house, if your house is uh, uh, full of love, they should feel it. When they come to the household of faith, uh, into the sanctuary, if people uh, are, are loving, they should feel it. Amen? So it says, love without dissemination, read. Abhor that which is evil. Uh, uh, that word abhor means to uh, uh, fervently hate. In order to walk with God, you've got to hate that which is evil. I remember, uh, y'all probably know uh, Sister Outlaw. Not, not, not I agree, I'm wrong, but I guess that was the mother of Hey, yeah, yeah, she used to crack me up all the time. She said she hated the devil with a perfect hate. <laughs> she said, I hate the devil with a perfect hate. <laughs> that, you know, and, and you know, as I, as I got older, I, I got to understand what she said. Amen. You've got to hate the devil. Uh, hate evil. Because if you don't, you'll find yourself fellowship with him. Uh, that, that what you hate. You don't fellowship with it. Huh? And, and he says, abhor that which is evil. Abhor it. Hate it. Hate evil. And, and we know, uh, we'll be honest with you. In, in the book of Romans, uh, that first chapter, uh, it talks about uh, those that, 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 that sin but have pleasure uh, in those that have sin is just as guilty. Huh? It's just as guilty. It's just as guilty. Those that, that you may not be committing to sin, but if you got pleasure in those that are sin, just as guilty. Just as guilty. So you've got to hate evil on every level. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. With, with a passion. And a fervent hate. All right? And, and, and it says, do what then? Cleave to that which is good. Now, that word plead there is the same plead that God used when he talked about uh, a man shall leave his uh, mother and father and do what? Please. Cleave to his own right. And that means, that cleave there means to become one with. Amen? To become one with. Right? So he says, become one with that which is good. Hate evil and become one with that which is good. Now, you can't uh, 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 love evil and love good. Uh, those, those, those are opposites. It won't happen that way. You gotta, you either, either love the one or you'll hate the other. Amen? 
And people think that, uh, 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 what I'm trying to say is don't be deceived. Don't deceive yourself. Now, notice, what we're talking about tonight is proving what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. He's telling you how to prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And you, in order to prove it, you've got to hate evil and love good. Become one with good. Amen? And love with, with, with a sincere love. Not, 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 not with uh, 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 fake love. <laughs> you got, your love has to be sincere. Amen? Hallelujah. You know, it's good to be loyal. Amen? Hallelujah. It's good to be loyal. Good to be faithful. All right? Read verse number 2, 12, uh, 12 uh, uh, 10. Be kind and affection one to another uh -huh. with brotherly love. Yeah. In honor, preferring one another. Now notice what he said. He said, be kindly affection. Uh, 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 be kind. Uh, treat people in a kind way. Uh, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Now, words, don't walk around like a sour puss uh, and, 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 and not wanting to do good and do kind works uh, to other people. And, and don't let your kindness be evil spoken of in this sense, that the only reason why you're being kind is to get some kind of advantage over someone else. Uh, that's, that's not God. That's not God. That's not kind. That's, that's taking advantage. That's being deceiving. Amen? Uh, that's being a, 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 a wolf in sheep's clothing. Amen? That's like being a hireling. Amen? So notice what he said. Be kindly affectionate one to another. Show kindness one to another. Amen. It's not that much to be kind. Uh, if you don't, if, I don't know y'all, y'all, y'all know this, uh, you do not be telling me. It takes more energy for you to be upset and angry and evil than it does to be kind. Uh, it takes more energy for you to be upset and evil than for you to be kind. Uh, and you know, and, and your kindness is, have you ever heard the word reciprocity? Uh, what does that word mean, reciprocity? Well, it just simply means whatever you do, it comes back to you. Uh, it's like a boomerang effect. It'll come back to you. Uh, now, uh, uh, if uh, you be kind to somebody, they may not be kind to you, but if God will make sure that somebody else will be kind to you. Because uh, you reap what you sow. Am I right? Yeah. Hallelujah. So, 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 so be kind. Uh, walk, 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 walk with an attitude of kindness. Amen? All right. Most of us say, be kindly, affectionate, one to another. Uh, treat your brother and your sister in a kindly way. And, and that kindness, Jesus, he worked it. He, he told us, you know, basically, Uh, 
then, then, then it won't profit you anything. Well, what could be the motive? How could that be selfish? Well, I don't well, for me to get my name in lights, for people to talk about me for generations to come, you know, to, 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 to gain some kind of advantage, to get some money, you know, uh, uh, those, those are different kind of motives, you know. And people have different kind of motives. Do it in spite. <laughs> Maybe they're <you're> deranged. <laughs> exactly. You know. So, so yeah, yeah that's what he's at. You know, your, your motive has to be uh, one of love. You're doing it from a sincere, pure heart of love. Amen. Good question. All right. Any other? Amen? But if you don't pay your debt, uh, you become 
Three. 
you piggyback on what Jesus said. Huh? When you go through Bible temptation. But Jesus said, uh, he told us to rejoice and be exceedingly glad. That's where Paul is getting this from. Rejoice. So, so what are you saying, Pastor Quinn? I'm telling you, when you're going through, everybody got to know how to know you're going through. Rejoice. I find it kind of hard to rejoice when I'm going through hard times. But I come out with the attitude that everything happens for a reason. Yes. And if God has a reason for this to happen, it must be a good reason. Absolutely. So you got to try to think positive. Absolutely. Now, now, you hear, you hear that first statement? I find it kind of hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't easy to rejoice when you're going through. Amen. <coughs> Sometimes if you hold it in and let their enemies just talk to you, you complain. 
Yeah. You can bring it within. And that's what the enemy wants you to do. Absolutely. So you get rid of it. About the choice. So now you praise and worship. The reason why the children of Israel perished in the wilderness is because they learned to complain and to rejoice. Right, right. Huh? If, if, if an individual perishes in this law because of their attitude, it's because they didn't rejoice. They didn't give thanks. They didn't praise their God. And it doesn't make sense. Right. <laughs> Sister Sharp. Well, the Bible says the sufferings of this present world are yeah. going to be compared to the glory which will be revealed to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Then he said, but arm yourself in life. Uh, and you arm yourself to suffer by, by putting on the garment of praise. Mm. Y'all all be right there. Sometimes you think you're going through such hard times. Hallelujah. Go ahead. You think you're going through such hard times, then a year or two later, you look back at it and you think it was awful funny, and you have a funny story to tell everybody. Come on, yes, At the time, it just seemed so terrible, you'd never get through it. Come on, yes, You got to arm yourself with the word of God so that you'll be able to rejoice. Huh? Because you're proving what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. This is what we're talking about tonight ain't for the faint heart. This is for those that want to be saved. Right. Want to be, want, want, want God, want, want to be the showpiece of God. Yes. Uh, want to be the showroom of God. Hey. Want, to, want to be, uh, now see now, now y'all want to now when I say this. Want, want to be like, want, want, want to be like Job. Uh, yeah. That he considered my servant. Sure. Now, now I'm going to go I got nothing more about what God said. Recommend. Yeah. Uh, Lord, 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 we don't, don't recommend. <laughs> Why are you here? You can't recommend. Yeah. Uh, don't you want somebody to recommend you? Uh, for your gifts and for your talents? For your loyalty? Yeah, huh? Amen. Oh, so you ain't confused the devil, Bishop. When God said, have you considered my servant Job? Yeah. And Job held to his integrity. Yeah. And that confused the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. This man should be out of his mind. He God. But yet, he said, I know this is you, God. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. got to know God. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, my mind went, when you said uh, uh, it, it confused the devil, that's so right. Because the devil said, does Job serve me for not? Move the hedge of protection. Uh, I make a curse to his faith. He had a perception of Job that wasn't true. The devil has a perception of you that hopefully is not true. And praise defeats the devil. Huh? Praise defeats the devil. The devil wants you to be sad, withdraw, not go to church. If you praise the Lord and, and come through in flying colors, the devil is defeated. Amen. That's why they even don't want us to praise and worship up in here on Sunday. It's stick up in here on Sunday. Trying to break through this and break through that. Huh?
Somebody's telling you something? Oh, wait, hold on. Let's, let's pray about it. Mm -hmm. God approached him 
And uh, uh, when Moses approached God, God said, Take off thy shoe. For the place where thou standing is what? Holy ground. What made that place holy? The presence of God. What made Moses holy? Being God's presence. What makes you holy? By being God's presence. In order to remain in God's presence, you've got to have a right relationship. Right. Right. <laughs> Why did Jesus die? Because we were out of relationship with God. Why does he give you all these commands? So that you can have a right relationship with God. So you can be whole. Be in his presence. To 
today. Huh? Yeah. And you know, yeah. I got all kinds of scriptures going through my mind right now. Beloved, now you being judged so that you don't have to be judged with the world. Right. Now you have to judge and see the Christ so you don't have to be judged with the world. Yeah, sure. right. yeah. Now I'm going to say, the world will have to go before the Lord and that great kind of throne judgment. Yes. Huh? And when they get there, all they're going to be handing out is pebbles. Mm. You want to sit at the judgment seat of Christ, right. yes, which right. you are right now. Right. Yes. Huh? Right. And then he's going to, uh, uh, when it comes down to, to blessing you, you're going to sit at what they call this beamer seat, seat of blessing. Don't go around. 
judgmental. Right. And even even giving some advice, you can be judgmental. Yeah. You give it certain advice, and you got to be careful with that. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, eighteen. Uh huh. If it be possible. If it's possible. As much as life in you. If life in you. Live peaceably with all men. Now, he said, if it be possible. Right? Right. There's some people that won't let you live peaceably with them. Come right. on. Right. That's going to keep on mess. It's on. Huh? Every, every, every time you turn around. Right. Huh? Yeah. But that does not negate those other scriptures that we just read. All right. Huh? You still got to be proud. Right. You still got to love. You got to still love. Right. You still got to bless it. Amen. Amen.
Then three weeks later, I'm doing you wrong. That's revenge. Your natural instinct is to self-preservation, to survive. to 
shall overcome evil. Yeah. All right? Any questions from Bible study? Y'all still love it? Yes. Amen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. I enjoy y'all Oh, we got a question? Who got a question? I sort of have one. All right. Hold on for a second. Uh, we certainly, hold on for a quick second. We certainly thank God for our Bible study tonight. <laughs> and we praise God for those that are tuned in. And come be with us on Sunday morning, Sunday service. Uh, Sunday school begins at 9.